Right, so it's still midday life. Thanks for staying with us. It's time for us to do the latest in business with me, Nana Ikiasari, this afternoon talking about government's budget and reviewing the figures for half of the year. Government has ended the first half of this year spending 4.8 billion Ghana cities more than revenue generated and this was against a targeted expenditure of 4.7 billion Ghana cities according to the provisional fiscal data release by the Ministry of Finance. Government was able to raise 11.14 billion Ghana cities as against a target of 12.1 billion Ghana cities but spent 13.5 billion Ghana cities which is representing an overrun of 2.36 billion. We would be analyzing these figures shortly and we're being joined on phone by Dr. Eric Osesibi who is a senior lecturer at the economics department of the University of Ghana Legal. Good afternoon to you Doc and thanks for joining us on Midday Live. Good afternoon Anna. Now I'm sure you would be able to tell us why it is so difficult for government to spend within its budget. Um, well if I could hear you um Yes, uh, it's, it's quite difficult to understand why uh, government is still recording uh, high uh, expenditures uh, because uh, if you look at the uh, budget statement, the government actually uh, made a commitment to reduce the uh, budget deficit significantly. Uh, however, I think the government is faced with a number of difficulties. Uh, one, the uh, domestic revenue mobilization has actually underperformed. It is not performing as it's expected, mm -hmm. and many of the targets uh, were missed. And therefore, the government is unable to mobilize enough domestic resources uh, to meet its uh, recurrent and um, statutory expenditures. And wow. then also, I think also that the uh, government... Uh, expenditure is swelling because it is it hasn't been more uh, much uh, aggressive in terms of physical consolidation i believe that the government has to do more in terms of cutting its own expenditures that is uh, expenditures uh, that do not have a uh, direct bearing on the productive success of the economy uh, or be it uh, expenditures that you know are uh, incurred in the of government, um, with high wage bills and others. And therefore, uh, putting this together and also inflation going up uh, will mean that the government expenditures would have to go up and the exchange rate also skyrocketing will mean that government has to pay more in terms of service and aid debt. And the, so I believe that this, when you put this together, it means that the government is going to find it very difficult to meet its target as mm. far as it well, is. Well noted, Doctor, yes. but does this imply that uh, governments would, by the end of the year, have a twin budget deficit with the analysis that you have given us? Y yes, that's right. It's likely. It, it's very likely if uh, we government do not come out with any innovative way of mobilizing mm. uh, revenue and also cutting down on its expenditure. Uh, in that, uh, even if you look at now, uh, the, the, the difficult part is that upon all these high slippages, high expenditures, government still owns many of the MDAs. The, uh, the, uh, the budget amount have not been released. Many of them have not received their subventions. Uh, the schools are closing. Uh, schools are not actually are threatened not to open hmm. the uh, departments, ministries, and agencies. Many of them have not received their subventions for the year. So the arrests are going up, and the, if arrests are going up, government is not paying all these amounts. The statutory payments are in deficit. That is, government have not been able to meet all the statutory payments to NHIs to get funds to. Uh, 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 local government governance. So, so then, what, what measures what measures so would be available for would government? Means that the government expenditures are going to go up at the okay. last quarter of the year, and that could mean that the twin deficit or the uh, uh, two-digit deficit uh, is likely at the end of the year. Right. So, what measures are we looking at then as an intervention for the rest of the year? Well, uh, I think government has to be more aggressive, as I've mentioned earlier. It has to 
ensure that expenditures are directed to the critical sectors of the economy. Uh, that is areas that will actually uh, uh, impact on production of the uh, economy so that the productive sectors can uh, expand. Now, into agriculture, into roads, into manufacturing, if expenditures are directed into facilitating uh, production, then it means that government revenue can go up. So, it's, as a matter of fact, the energy disruption has to stop so that uh, manufacturing and other productive sectors of the economy can flow and that will lead to higher revenue generation. All right. And the government must also ensure that it reduces its own uh, expenditures. That means ensuring value for money and reducing graft and uh, corruption in the seat of government so that we ensure that at the end of the day, the fiscal deficit is reduced to the barest minimum so All that right. the confidence level in the country can go up. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Eric Osesibe, Senior Lecturer with the Economics Department at the University of Ghana, analyzing government's expenditure for the first half of the year, which stood at 4.8 billion more than the revenue generated well we would be looking at some more stories this afternoon and over to the northern region over 400 drums of tomato paste from the northern star tomato factory in that region has turned maggots trial production for 2010 2011 and 2012 is sitting in an obscured warehouse while workers continue to draw from government's purse the tomato factory was established in 2007 but now defunct at the entrance, we were greeted by weeds and reptiles. We moved further, but bees will not allow us in. We finally made our way into the factory, and weeds and scraps had taken over the factory. Searching for someone to talk to, we came across what officials described as a no-go area. The stench emanating drew our attention. We got in and over 400 drums of tomato paste from 2010, 2011 and 2012 production had been left to rot. Some had turned into maggots and fungi, while the latest production was covered in cobwebs. When we came first, well, there was nothing working here. So we tried our best and then we put everything to work. So we started the production around 2010. 2010 we produced a lot. 2012, 2011 we did some. And then in 2012 too. But all what we did is, is still around, it is not gone. We are here to process the tomatoes, but the sales or it's going out, we cannot talk too much about it. As technicians, we did our part, so it was for somebody to market it, and it was not done. From the inscription, the content was to expire 24 months after production. So it was obvious this trial production was a waste. The juice from the cans had poured out all over, attracting snakes and other reptiles. Workers at the factory told us all the machines at the factory worked perfectly, but they could not tell why production had stalled. What have authorities been telling you and why have they been keeping you? We all the time ask them, is what are we doing? They're waiting for money from... The, the government or whoever is an authority and we don't know when the money will come but we understand production for 2010 2011 2012 is still in there should government continue to provide funds for production without getting anything from it to me it's not fair to me it is not fair because we produce to sell so that we make profit but when you produce and leave, you leave the base things at one place then how are you going to get money are the machines in there working all the machines are in good condition. Feeling bad that production had stalled, government had stopped investing in the production and workers could not fault it. Although the workers continue to draw from government purse, they admit this could not continue. The defunct factory has also pushed tomato farmers out of business. Teening unemployed youth are worried. They stay idle while the property breeds reptiles. Also, you can join us again later at 4.30 for more business.